Good morning everyone, Julana here from Orlando, Florida. I am super excited because I'm going to be spending the next three days with all of my favorite animal content creators right here at AnimalCon. <laughs> This weekend is going to be packed full of activities. We've got tons of educational panels, meet and greets, after parties, and of course, seeing all of my favorite wildlife YouTubers from last year and meeting some new ones. But first we have to go get checked in, so that's what we're gonna go do right now. Give you this wristband, hey, yeah, I saw the it. schedule in here. Your name's highlighted yeah. everywhere you have a panel, uh, and there's a map so you know exactly where the rooms are. Great, thank you. We're all set. This is one of the coolest animals I've ever seen in my life. Hey. This is Mugu. Uh, Mugu is 36 years old. She's a uh, full grown. She loves to be held this way. <laughs> yeah, she's so cute. She just loves to like hold you. Probably the most cuddly hater I've ever seen. <laughs> and her eyes. Got to get her eyes. She's rats. Is that her favorite? Even even in the wild, they actually eat rats because they live in the rice fields. Lived in the rice fields. Unfortunately, there's less than 50 of them left, left in the wild, and he's, he's actually one of the most critically endangered species of animal on the planet. Very sad. And we got all kinds of animals and creators here. Hi! Hi. One of my favorite people! Yep. Bionic Benny. Stone here. It's a boa, but I don't really know what type. And a yellow one. Yeah, just like a normal albino boa. They're kind of nephew sometimes, but this one hasn't fit at all, so that's a good one. It's about 10 p.m. right now. I had to come back to the hotel room. Very tired from a very long and exciting day. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy to be back here, honestly. Last year was the very first ever Animal Con convention, and I was brand new to the wildlife space at that time. I didn't know any other wildlife content creators. Um, so I just showed up by myself, hoping for the best, hoping to meet people and make some friends and do some networking. Not gonna lie, I was pretty intimidated to jump into this new crowd of people, but Everybody was so friendly and so welcoming to me that weekend and it almost felt as if we were all already best friends because we had this one shared passion in common which is our love of animals. So yeah, I'm very excited to be back here for a second year and see all my friends again and meet some new people too. Animal Con takes place at the Cary Royale Hotel in Orlando. This resort is beautiful and it's got this amazing pool area filled with restaurants and games and just overall a really fun place to hang out. Alright, we are back for Animal Con day two. 
I am so excited. Yesterday was so inspiring just being here, seeing all my friends again, meeting all the new people that came out this year, and also getting to talk to a lot of the YouTubers and content creators that have really inspired me with my own animal content. So yesterday was pretty much just an industry day and today is going to be 10 times crazier. Today and tomorrow are open to the public. So there will be a lot more people, a lot more panels, a lot more events and activities going on. But first up, I am actually moderating a panel on different types of careers you can have working with animals. So I gotta go figure out where that's taking place. I grew up with whole animals and by the time that I graduated from college, there were pretty much four main areas you could go into. Now, there are so many other ways that you can get to work with animals. Here in the Creator Hangout space, they've got food and snacks for us. This is where a lot of the hanging out and meeting and networking takes place. And then over here, we have all of the breakout rooms where all of the panels take place throughout the day. And in here is the main room and all of the vendors. It's my favorite artist and my favorite zoo man. <laughs> This is Adeline. She is my favorite artist. I met her last year. Thank you. Uh, I just came by to see what's new. Awesome. We got a bunch of new stuff, especially from last time. Let's see, we got green Arcari peas for people that love toucanets. Um, my most recent piece was actually this bog turtle that we've got. Chilling with some mushrooms. We got a green tree python. So we got all kinds of fun stuff. And some Star Wars variety. stuff, huh? Some Star Wars crossover stuff. Can't cannot have those. Got a mahi mahi for my fish lovers. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, good good variety of things. Cool. All right, see you later. <laughs> Last year was really incredible, but this year things have gotten even bigger and better and more exciting. So one of the things that I have been waiting for all weekend is about to happen right now on the main stage. So please put your hands together and make some noise for David DaVinci and Jamie Lee in for the Illusionist. Tricks was really born. So our goal with what we do is we help save parrots one person at a time through education and enrichment. And I thought actually today it might be fun for you guys to meet one of our parrots. So if you'd like to, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. So right now I'd like to introduce you to Bondi and Jamie Lee. Woo! Right, Bondi, are you ready? No? Are you ready now? Yes, okay. Excellent. All right, come on over here. This one's my favorite. I call it the rock out. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, that's very exciting. <laughs> So one of the coolest things about Animal Con is the amount of panels and the wealth of information that is here. Um, we've got experts on panels covering everything from zookeeping to reptiles to conservation to how to manage your social media. I'm actually going to my second panel of the day. Um, it's all about diversity in the animal kingdom. Anybody can go to get up close and personal with animals. What is your panel about today is that you're hosting? The panel is on blogging with my pets your expert guide to getting started. Yay. Uh, Hi. Some of our panelists. <laughs> awesome. Cool. What type of equipment do you use? And are you a one man team? Or do you have people that help you? I started on my phone. Cause like everyone has a phone. So anyone can start on their phone. Um, and I do it mostly by myself. <laughs>
Wild Times podcast over here in the corner. They are live streaming all day long, talking to all the creators here, meeting animals, doing a ton of cool things. So you obviously <laughs> feed them ants. Do you got? Do you like? Do you like just send them out to the ant hills in the yard or what? Find it. And there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Animal Con 2023 is officially over, but not over because there's still the official after party at Gatorland, Orlando, and that's where we're gonna all head to right now. <laughs> crocodiles and they're also very land-based so they Big hunt down their prey they can communicate with each other they work together very them. intelligent animal so my name is savannah it was my pleasure to be all you guys at animal con uh, i know you guys had so much fun at animal con guys so it is adventure hour here at Gatorland which basically is the time of the day when you can go and feed the crocodile I'm actually opting out of this activity this year because I am pregnant and I just don't think that my husband would really appreciate me getting into a pit full of alligators not that I'm scared of them but you know just to be extra extra safe um, but I did do it last year and it was a blast. So here is some footage of that. Sorry. Oh my God, okay, I up? never in my life thought I would do this. <laughs> right, guys, whoever's coming up, let's go. Buster! Come on, Buster! Toss it to him, okay? okay. So stand right there on that X. Gannon, stand up nice and tall. All right, go ahead. Oh, oh no. Oh, that one's way back. Oh, get in there. She can throw it again. Let's get see. It. Now it's got salt and pepper on it. Animal Con 2023 is officially over. Um, sad, but what an amazing weekend. Such a great opportunity to meet other creators in the animal space and the wildlife space. Huge shout out to Brian Barczyk and his whole team for having this vision and making it happen and creating this space for all of us to come together. Being around people that share the same passion as you do is just so inspiring. I, I can't really even explain it, but it's pretty much like, hey, I love animals. You love animals too? Oh my God, let's be best friends and we can love animals together. Um, and that's kind of the overall feeling of being here at Animal Con. Last year was an incredible experience. This year was even better and bigger and so many more things going on. And I'm sure that next year is gonna be even more amazing. I always leave Animal Con feeling so inspired to keep doing what I'm doing and keep sharing animal stories and keep creating content. And that just comes from feeling like you're really part of a community. And the community here is so incredible. So thank you, Animal Con. Thank you, Brian Barczyk. Thank you to all of the creators that I have met that have inspired me throughout the weekend. If you weren't at Animal Con this year, make sure you come next year because it is gonna be incredible. It's an experience that you will never forget and you definitely don't wanna miss it. All right, everyone, well, that's it for me. Thanks so much for hanging out this weekend. And if you like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an adventure. See you next time.